Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I want to bring you a video on how to prepare as the team of the year is coming out. I want to give you guys the most information on how to save the most amount of coins as well as what you should be doing during the team of the year as well as what you should be doing after the team of the year is uh, fully released and it's all done with. I want to give you guys the most amount of information on how to save the most amount of coins not panic while the market is fluctuating crazily and uh, hopefully this video will be for some use to you. But before we start, if you're interested in buying some hot coins, check out NHL Coin Market in the link in the description box below. Use Chops for a 5% discount. Okay, before we get into the meat of this topic, which I know a lot of you guys are waiting for, I want to go through EA's article. If you've already seen it uh, before, I will link it in the description box below. But what you can click in the link in the description box below as well is a time slot to skip on uh, to the better part of this video. But I want to bring you some information for the people that don't know anything so far about the team of the year. I want to give them a little bit of information just to get them up to date on some of the dates as well as some of the information that EA has released. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to summarize this article as I can with pictures. But as you can see there, there are three Team of the Years this year. There's a Hut Community Team of the Year, there's a Hut Defensive Team of the Year, as well as a Hut Offensive Team of the Year. And these will come out at different times throughout the month. But I want to show you guys uh, that, that the Hut Community Team of the Year is the first one that is going to be coming out. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to vote for that. Honestly, I haven't yet because I don't really care what players are voted. Whatever the fans say, uh, I'm fine with. But uh, this will be, be released on March 25th all the way till April 1st. So that's going to be the first team of the year. And these cards, obviously, uh, they have maybe received a Hut Live card before or some type of special edition item. So this one is more of just the community team of the year. Unfortunately, the defensive team of the year is coming out first. Usually, the defense is worth a lot less than the offense, usually, but I like how they kind of separated by defensive and then offensive. But this will be released on April 1st all the way to April 8th of 2015. And obviously, this team is selected by EA, and uh, this is the best players you can get uh, for defensive players for this year. Lastly, the Hut Offensive Team of the Year is coming out April 8th and will end on April 15th. So that's almost a month from now. You guys have a lot of time before this is released and uh, the Team of the Year week or Team of the Year is gone from Hut. But anyways, I'm going to get right into the meat of this uh, topic now. Hopefully you guys have enough information there for the Team of the Year and I can go on to the next stuff. Okay, so there's all the information. Like I said, if you really want to, you can check the link in the description box below and that will lead you right to the article. Alright, so going into the hard part of explaining this, uh, I want to break this up into steps so you guys can follow along a little bit easier because there's a lot of things to explain. But first of all, uh, the Community Team of the Year is coming out on the 25th and you want to be saving up your coins for that time because once people start figuring out that the Team of the Year is go going to get released sometime around March 23rd, 24th, because EA is going to start, you know, releasing more information about the Team of the Year and more hype around it is going to happen, you want to be in... You want to have all your players sold before that time hits. So between March 18th, which is around now, all the way to March 22nd, you should be selling your players in that time. Obviously, you could sell your players on the 23rd or 24th, but you would be losing coins because people are just going to be constantly selling players. Just like me, as you can see, I currently have about 1.5 million coins with a Drew Doughty Movember waiting for that Team of the Year card release, I guess. I I'm taking a chance on that one as well, but... Uh, not every single card is going to have a drop in price, but there is a sure chance that most base cards, really frequent cards like Hut Lives uh, that were released recently in the past couple months, they are all going to go down in price. People are going to want to sell their players right off when the Team of the Year comes off so they can keep buying more packs to fund their Team of the Year uh, pack addictions, right? Uh, there's going to be 30, 40 Jonathan Taves. There's going to be 30, 40 Matt Duchesne's. You don't want to be in that position where uh, there's 30, 40 Matt Duchesne's and you cannot sell yours for the life of yourself. Okay, so this is step number two. And I want to pretend that I'm fast forwarding to March 25th Pretend that the team of the year is released, the community team of the year. What is the best way to get the most bang for your buck? So obviously, you do not want to open packs, but if you feel like you need to, open up a few here and there. Hopefully, you can pull something good. You're not going to lose too many coins if you open up, say, 100k worth of packs. But then again, you know, if you have 2-3 mil, you know what? You can go more on a binge and open up 3-400k three, worth of packs. But just make sure that you're smart with your coins during the team of the year release. I would, I would highly suggest not touching your coins at all 
don't open packs like that's the most efficient way uh, to make more coins after leaving the team of the year but like I said, everybody wants a team of the year card. People are going to be opening up packs out their ass. I can understand that people are going to be opening up packs. But during that time, what you want to do is make sure you are smart with your coins. Don't spend it unless you need to. I'm not 100% sure if you guys remember this, but I pulled a team of the year Petra Angelo last year. And that was going for around 1.6 mil to 1.7 mil around that time. And I sold it off right away on stream because I knew that the player price was going to drop. And that's what you want to do. If you pull a team of the year card, Make sure you sell it off right away. You can always buy it back later. The price will always drop. Maybe for not some players like Alexander Ovechkin. I don't know how much those guys would go for if they were on the team of the year. But you want to save the amount of coins you can. Sell off any high-end players that you can. Make sure that you have a solid amount of coins throughout the team of the year. And then hopefully you don't lose out on too much. Also, one more thing. If you are a merchanter that likes to buy and sell players, make sure that you consider selling your players as fast as possible when there is a team of the year out people like to place cards out on auction consistently so if you buy a card say you find it for very cheap you might find that some person is going to also place that player for the same price you bought it for at that cheap price so you want to watch out for that because people are going to be pulling cards very very quickly and they're going to sell for the lowest price sold so you want to watch out for that Stage 3, so this is when you should be buying players. This is when all the team of the years are released, which should be April 15th, 2015. That is when the Hut Offensive Team of the Year is completely gone. All the Team of the Year hype is already gone. And uh, that is when you should be buying your players back, alright? So that's the best way to save coins. Obviously, there might be some players that you might find more expensive or cheaper, but for the most part, they should be cheaper. And that is the way you prepare for the team of the year. Obviously, you can spend more on packs if you want. You can try taking more risk and buying players. It really is up to you, but there is really nothing to fear as long as you should be selling your team sometime between now and March 25th. Honestly, sometime around that, you should be okay before uh, player prices drop all the way down uh, during April 15th, which is a while from now, if you actually think about it. Having a month of player prices dropping, you, I don't want to know what the results are. But anyways, that is just about it for the team of the year, uh, I guess, preparation video. What you should be doing to prepare, what I have already done to prepare, and hopefully, you guys can pull some of the team of the year cards and make some real mad bank. But anyways, that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy, that would help it tremendously. And I will see you guys later. See you guys. One hands, 91 checking as well. And I know he's an absolute beast. 230 pounds, 6 foot 2. Usually everybody knows that he's one of the better players in the game for sure. Next up, Sidney Crosby, 96 overall center playmaker. He's got 90 skating, 92 shot.